more diamonds and my farming routine. I hope this will help you get more diamonds and save up for the new set. Not this one that I'm wearing. This set, the summer fantasy set. It is pretty expensive and I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive set in the game. But anyways, let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I do is go to my cell phone to check if I have anything that I need to get. And currently, I need pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and go to my computer login where I also sleep and where the apartments are. So here's my apartment. And I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the computer and you do that you can do this every time it reloads i think every 20 hours you can get it every day for 10 days and some tips to help you sleep faster if you're in a rush to get somewhere you can close the cur all the curtains Turn off the lights, except this one, if you want to see yourself or, or anything. And just go ahead and hit sleep or R if you're on a computer. And when you... Okay, so my energy is really, really low. It's at 0%. But if your energy is at like 40%, you won't get as much diamonds when when you get up from sleeping because when you get up from sleeping you get well I get 1800 diamonds but I think the normal average person that doesn't have the six times game pass you get 300 at least that's still really good if you're trying to save up for the set also you get XP so that helps you level up so let's go ahead and get up a bed and I just leveled up, as you can see, and I got a 1,800 diamonds, and I leveled up as well. So that's really a nice deal. So you actually have to sleep sometimes to get a lot of diamonds. And uh, I think that's all we can pretty much do in the apartment. So let's go ahead and go to Earth and spin the wheel. Now we are in Earth. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel. I usually go up here, but you don't have to go up here if you don't want to, but I like to. So just click on the wheel and it says, step right up to the town wheel and spin it with all your might. Is luck in your favor today? Only one way to find out. So go ahead and click that. And there are two types of prize waves. The prize wave number one is the usual one that I go with because more original stuff is in there and prize wave two you get a lot of stuff from there too but i've been playing this game so long i barely get anything but diamonds now so you can just test your luck every time Let's see what i get of course i got diamonds but if you land on any other character like the alien or the pink present or the mermaid you can get a lot of stuff from the wheel so there is another thing that you can do on earth some hearts pop up around the town in the streets and you can actually pick them up and it actually gives you plus six diamonds i think all of them give you plus six diamonds but yeah, let's go ahead and look for some more. I think I see one over here. And over here. When you farm, you sort of do you sort of do need almost all of the game passes. I have all of them, so this is pretty easy for me, and I can get a lot of diamonds in a short amount of time. But if you're new to the game and you don't know how to farm or get diamonds, 
to get stuff from the shop. These game passes will help you, and yes, they do cost Robux. But if you just farm almost every day, or at least when you can farm, you can get a lot of diamonds. Alright, I think that's all for Earth. So now let's go to Davinia Park to get the Fountain of Dreams. So Davinia Park is the main place for a lot of updates. And you can actually get a lot of pretty pictures here. And you can also see the update log. Never mind, I can't. You can usually see the update log. And you can also go to the Fountain of Dreams, way over there. So let's go ahead and head over there. The Fountain of Dreams, I think, is getting reworked, actually. So that's really sad. This is so original. But, I mean, some of the realms had to go. I mean, Enchantix High is pretty old, so I think that was the first realm ever. I will be making a video on that, so stay tuned for that as well. Now that we're at the Fountain of Dreams, we have to make a wish in the fountain. So I usually sit down here, but you can just stand nearby. Just as long as you can hit the water. So there is a new Mermaid Halo 2021. There is a new Halo called Mermaid Halo 2021. And you can get it right now, but halos are super duper rare and it costs a lot of diamonds and a lot of your items to trade for them. So if you want to get a halo, you have to be really, really lucky. So let's hope I get one. I don't know. I've never got a halo before and I've been playing for more than one year. So that's how rare it is. Anyways, let's go ahead and make a wish. And let's see what the story says. After wishing upon the fountain, you decide to go swimming at the beach house. As you enter the gentle, bubbly waves, you transform your s into your merperson self so you can explore further through the deep blue sea. You end up swimming to the bottom of the sandy ocean floor where you discover a peculiar cave entrance. Out of curiosity, you swim through the opening, and to your amazement, you are welcome to a vast underwater cavern filled with colorful clear crystals and gems glistening throughout the Im immense rock walls. Slowly, you venture through the mesmerizing cavern until suddenly you appro approach three passageways you decide to a explore the left passageway b explore the right passageway c explore the middle passageway or d leave the secret cave hmm what should i do i'm just gonna go ahead and choose c explore the middle passageway Let's hope I get a halo. So, if I would have gotten a halo, the screen would have turned like blue or white and it would have said plus mermaid halo 2021. So, I ended up getting nothing, I think. No, what did I get? I got 906 diamonds. That's that's good. That's good. But it would have been so cool if I got the halo and I caught it on camera. Like, yas! Anyways, that's all I can do for Divinia Park, but now let's go to the Royal High School new campus. All right, so right off the bat, exactly when you spawn, you can see like five different diamonds. So I just collected this one. It was like instinct. I forgot I was recording a video, to be honest. But yeah, I just got those two right there on top of the grass. There's one here, and there's a lot over there. But I didn't really go over there until later. 
because there are two sides to the Royal High New Campus. So I'm just going to start exploring this one because this one takes longer. I don't know why I do that, but yeah. Anyways, so if you go over here through the river thing, you can actually glitch through here. Um, I'm pretty sure you can go through there without the game pass. So you can still do this. Um, I just glitched it there, got that, glitched right, right back out. Then I'm going to fly through here and whatever side, I don't know, it's just right here, near the cafe. And there's a diamond right up there. Then I'm going to fly all the way up here or go through the door. I could have gone through the door. And collect this one. Then go right back down through the stairs because there are some diamonds on the stairs that you can collect near the end in the beginning and i will be going through the classes as well because you do get xp if you bring all the books and yeah so i collect those diamonds and i just Click on a locker, and if you're trying to be in a hurry, you can just put your locker code as a zero, and it can let you write in. Now, I'm going to check my schedule real quick, and the last thing that I have is English. Now, the Royal High item thing is not too big, so you can't really get every single book in there. So I'm just going to leave English there. Um, and for baking class, you actually need to get rid of some. So after class, try to make it to your locker fast and return the book. Now before class starts, because it's currently breakfast, I'm going to get these diamonds. And go down here. Now, if we turn here to the fireplace, read a book place, you can get a big diamond right here. It doesn't cost much, but you can get six diamonds. Then I'm going to head over to the principal's office. And I'm going to do this fast because PE is almost starting. There are two classes that you don't need your books for. PE and swimming, so you can skip those if you want. I'm just saying if you want. You can skip classes if you want, but you should still take them. So as you can see, there are, there are some diamonds in these chairs and in the red principal chair and one right here and one in the fireplace right here which costs 120 diamonds if you have the game passes because I have both game passes. I have 4X and 2X diamonds. PE is starting, so you can actually get some of the diamonds right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this and... Um, so, doing all the classes can actually get you a lot of diamonds as well. And I just fell. Hey, I rhymed. Anyways. Oh my. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and do this really quickly. Oh my god, it's super hard jumping over these hurdles. Okay, it's time to fly. Time to fly. Let's go. Okay, I need to go. Because every time I go fast and I'm like such in a hurry that I don't, I don't uh, have time to lower down the speed so I can actually get diamonds. This is also a great way to get diamonds. So you don't really have to skip this class. And then you ring the bell just to get an A. 
And if you go on top of here, you can get a diamond, which costs 120 diamonds. And then you can go all the way down here and get this one diamond. And you can also fly all the way over here and get the diamonds in here. Then you can fly to the other side if you can make it to class. And there are some diamonds in here. Perfect, class just started. And now you can still technically participate if you just sit in here the whole time. You don't actually have to do the thing because it's sort of rigged. <laughs> Let's look at how much diamonds I have now. So I started at like 30,000 something. So now let's check. <gasps> I have 40,000 now. Wow. That is so amazing. That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope that I helped you guys get more diamonds and learn how to farm. I will be doing more tips and tricks in a another video hopefully but until then i'll see you guys in the next video love you hey you yeah you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell these videos take about 30 minutes to make and these little things take two seconds also smash that like button okay bye